hello friends welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to learn uh, how throw statements uh, in java exception handling basically works so first of all we'll go through the i mean base some basic concept about the throw keyword and after that we'll see uh, an example as well so here uh, when we talk about the throw statement in java with respect to ex exception handling it is possible for a java program to throw an exception explicitly and that is done uh, by using a throw keyword now the general form of throw is uh, you will have to write the throw keyword and after that throwable object right here throwable object should be an object of type throwable or any subclass of it you can get this throwable object in two ways first by using the exception exception parameter of the catch block and second uh, create a new one using the new operator right so you have a multiple uh, uh, classes which basically represents the exception handling like you have a exception io exception sql exception so definitely you can create uh, an object of uh, these classes using new operator now when we talk about the throw statements then uh, basically throw statement helps in preserving loose coupling so one of the best practices for the exception handling is to preserve loose coupling according to that an implementation a specific checked ex exception should not propagate to another layer like uh, you have a MB mbc application and you have a controller then you have a service and uh, from service your call delegate to the doll layer right so there is possibility in your doll layer you can get an exception sql ex exception but we should not uh, propagate SQL exception uh, in the higher level, level in the service layer as it is. Rather, we should uh, make it loose couple. Means you can wrap your uh, SQL ex exception uh, within a runtime exception and you can propagate it like uh, which you can see in the code snippet. So here when your API throws a SQL exception, then you basically use the throw keyword and you can create an instance of runtime exception and here uh, uh, whatever exception you are getting in this layer you can wrap inside the runtime exception so these are the basic concept which we talked about the throw keyword uh, with respect to exception handling let's try to understand through an example as well so this is the example which i have created offline so just to save some time i have uh, created this example uh, off offline I i'll try to ex explain each and every piece of code in this uh, example so here you can see what i have written i have a main method and from main method I'm making call to the method is called display which is a private uh, which is a public methods right uh, even you can make it private as well because this method is going to access from within the class and uh, this method is a basically uh, non-private right so that's the reason i have created an instance of uh, throw demo and i'm making call to this method right and from this method intentionally i'm throwing runtime exception and uh, i mean i have used a constructor of runtime exception and there i'm passing a a string right and this is nothing but the uh, you can say exceptional message right and here you can see i have used a throw keyword after throw keyword you can see i have used new operator and basically i have created an, an instance of uh, runtime and there i am calling a constructor which basically accepts a, a string as an argument right and when this exception arises in try block then of course uh, a runtime environment will try to match the corresponding catch block and this catch block basically matching with this exception so control will basically go into this catch block and this message will be printed and at the same time when exception is throwing and as well same exception i am re-throwing using the throw keyword so here in this example you can see in two places i have used throw keyword so when i use throw with new operator that means just i am uh, I'm using uh, an instance of runtime, but here same exception I'm re-throwing. So in Java, of course, you can re-throw an exception, right? So when uh, while executing a try block, some exception arises, then control goes to the throw uh, catch block. And from catch block, you can re-throw the same exception. And that that's the thing I'm doing over here, right? Throw keyword, I'm not creating a new instance of any exception exist, exist exception class, but same exception I am trying to re-throw. So this exception will be propagated to the caller and caller will basically caller here. We are calling this method from here. Same exception will be basically copied in, the, in this uh, runtime exception. And uh, if you print this message, then you would see this message will be printed. 
so it's a pretty straight exa straightforward example let's try to run and uh, let's have a look on the output so this is the output basically you see on the console so when you try to call this method right so here basically there is a only one statement in real scenario you can have a n number of a statement right and somewhere in uh, some a specific condition let's say some exception is arrived let's say runtime exception then basically we are printing this message on the catch block and that's the getting printed over here and now we are rethrowing the exception right so caller will get this exception and uh, 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 control will go to the this catch block and this message is again getting printed right and after that i'm printing this message right ex dot guess message so this message basically you'll retry from here so same exception is propagating and that's the reason we are getting runtime exception occurred and finally we are printing the stack trace over here and that's the reason you can see the stack trace and this is showing line number 17 some exception has arises and again line number 18 is showing because of this call this exception has arises right so i hope you understood what the what the significant of basically uh, throw keyword uh, with respect to uh, exception handling in java so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys i hope you enjoy learning this video if you really like this video then please hit on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel as well